Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. But before we take a look at the charts, be aware of ECS Live with live analysis setups and webinars. Check it all out here at ECS Live Trading. You can see here our uh, information about the Telegram channel that we send and the stats. So you can see more at, of course, this link. All right, euro dollar has been quite indecisive the last uh, weeks or maybe even months. And will that finally change? That's the big question. And of course, pinpointing that moment is extremely difficult, I think, because once a correction starts, it can last for quite a long time. And you can see that this price action has been staying between 112 and about 115. Well, basically for about half a year now, I guess, rough give or take. So that has been a substantial period of time. Not saying that that necessarily will change soon but i do think we're getting into a final leg of the correction uh this being as we already mentioned before this being a correction this probably being a correction here and now we should see an upside correction this upside correction might be a little bit more volatile so i do think that you know it's a little bit tricky to say this but i do think that the volatility might increase on the euro dollar we might see more impulsive price action coming soon that's a bold statement. I might be totally wrong on that, uh, but that's just my uh, my sentiment, my analysis at this moment. That said, of course, if price breaks below this L3 uh, of last week and the uh, bottom at 111.80, well, then we might see a continuation lower and a, and a downtrend. At this moment, I am favoring still that bullish correction, but if it breaks to this bottom, I will admit my, admit my defeat and uh, then the bears do have control, very simply said. For the moment though, I think uh, price is at the top of the downtrend channel, so that could be a bounce spot. Price might still make a little bit of a push higher, uh, but I don't think that much would be 114, 113.75. That's where I would expect price, or even here right now, to make a little bit of retracement, go into this head and shoulders level. So I would keep an eye on a level like this, 112.50 for instance, you could put a fib uh, on the chart too, from this bottom uh, to this top, wherever the top is, all right? And uh, look for a 50, 61.8 fib, for instance. The bounce there uh, with, you know, for instance, a four-hour candlestick pattern uh, could uh, confirm the reversal. So that's my main analysis. Still hasn't changed. Yes, we are in a downtrend channel, but I think there are signs that price will make a bigger, um, you know, upside. There's divergence between the bottoms, for instance, and a bigger corrective pattern is taking place. So what I'm expecting, once again, is a bounce here. A three wave bounce i would expect a b c and then a reversal could start here and move up to about 115 and maybe even further that's why i said i do expect more impulse maybe to start in the second part of march maybe the very beginning of april uh, plus or plus minus uh, because this bounce right here could start a pretty impulsive correction well let's see if that's true that's my uh, main analysis for the moment let's zoom in to lower time frame so once again this zone is very important because a trade around 112.50 with a stop loss below this bottom for instance aiming at 115 is a pretty good r to r but if you aim even for 117.50 117.50 then the r to r is even bigger and those targets i think are possible although of course we are talking about a pretty uh, long swing trade in that case most likely uh, but not as long as six months i think all right that is quite a big corrective period looking at the four hour chart all right so what we're seeing is probably a five wave that is good for the upside i think that could be that wave a or wave one doesn't really matter uh, it could be one more push higher to hit that uh, resistance trend line price at 113.50 ish just barely missed that uh on friday so if it does make a higher high, I think 113.75 could be a bouncing spot and then we should see this and an upside. Well, what if I'm wrong? Well, basically if price breaks through the 21 EMA, that could already indicate the bigger ABC, but I am not gonna trade that downside because I am skeptical about the downside. I would really have to see price move up, sorry, below this bottom or really a super strong momentum like this and then a flag, but I don't know, better wait for the bottom break, I think. So not interested in trading the 21 EMA break, not interested in trading the ABC. Maybe if it breaks, hooks back, and you see some uh, reversal here, yes, maybe worth it from 113.25 down to 112.50-ish, maybe. 75 pip zone could be okay. 
Uh, what if it starts to fly up? Well, if it breaks above 114 like this and then starts to show a bull flag, of course, I wouldn't necessarily skip the upside if it breaks that flag because it could be an expanded wave three and we get one more wave five and one more wave five, uh, sorry, one wave four and then a wave five. So yes, if we see strong momentum pushing through 114, I wouldn't mind trading one more continuation higher on the euro dollar. All right, so these are what ifs. What if something else? else happens basically and that's how i will respond to that now a lot of these uh, charts have been quite uh, responsive i think to obviously the brexit news so that is a dominant factor uh in both the euro dollar pound dollar euro pound and brexit is coming closer it's getting more dramatic so that will you know that impact will not decrease over the next weeks this certainly in march uh, it will still have its impact depending on how things play out. That said, we did say, despite all the Brexit news, that uh, it is looking like an ABC zigzag, right? And that's what happened. So, you know, that analysis was fulfilled. Now, we got a little bit of extension. We got some correction, uh, bounce. So, it looks like the wave C is still open. And uh, within that wave C, it looks like we are building a ending diagonal with a one, two, three, four, five. Let's look at, look at that on the hourly chart. We have one, two, three, four, five. So if I remember correctly, on Thursday we were saying, keep an eye on this FIB and keep an eye on the 38, 50, 60, 1.8 FIB zone for a bounce to the upside. So far that has happened. Price did not break below the 50 FIB. Made a lot of correction and a lot of noise. This is where a lot of traders get into trouble because they traded uh, either correctly to the upside, but um, in my view at least, but you know, for whatever reason, lose confidence in that trade or they traded to the downside, but obviously price went up after that, at least a little bit. So that's often what happens with these corrective zones. They're tricky, but price did break above this corrective zone and started to show that uh, wave five or the start of that wave five for the moment. Now, could there be some pullback? Yes. And actually, if it breaks above the 21 EMA zone, the 20, 21 EMA high again, I think that that uh, could be very interesting for a long setup four way five. Now, that said, once again, a lot of this is going to be impacted by Brexit. So difficult to say uh, if it's a good moment to trade the pound in general the next uh, this month. But if we set that aside from a technical point of view, uh, you know, a retracement. And then a rebreak typically would be a good way to trade the wave five here uh, with an aim at around 134, maybe even 134, 80-ish um, here, as you can see, the minus 272 target. All right. So that is uh, basically the end of the wave five of wave C. And if we look at higher time frame, there we go. Uh, this could all be maybe weekly chart is better. There we go. Uh, this could all be part of a uh, downtrend, right? Look at this. This could be a correction. So one will push higher. We might bump into a, a bouncing spot for downside. Last week's weekly candle was pretty bullish. So a continuation higher would not be surprising from this perspective, from the weekly perspective candle. And uh, we would see a higher high perhaps, but that could still be a bouncing spot within basically this, this, uh, this downtrend. This could be about a 50 percent mark if we put a fib from here to here you see we're close to that 50 fib around 134 so that could be an important level to uh to keep an eye on 134 135 for a potential downtrend continuation regarding the euro dollar we forgot to look at the weekly candle actually together and you can see bullish candle after bearish candle so i i'm leaning towards the fact that this was a bounce some double triple bottom pattern uh, but let's see if it can break above that channel uh, break above the resistance of that channel for a bullish breakout. All right, traders, that's it. More free analysis at EliteCurrency.com. We show great trading. Talk to you soon. Cheers.